Hey guys, what is up? Connor here, and this is episode 6 of How to Code a Minecraft Client. Now, this episode, we're going to be covering something pretty interesting and not simple, like the other stuff that we've done. We're going to code an x-ray. So, this episode, we're just going to code a um, clear x-ray. But once this video hits 200 views, we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to code an opacity x-ray. Now, the reason I'm doing it like this is because... You to understand how the opacity x-ray is gonna work you have to understand the basics of how blocks are rendered in Minecraft which I'm going to explain to you so the only class we're actually going to be manipulating in this tutorial is the block.java so make sure you open that now we're going to also make the x-ray mod so or the x-ray class so just name it x-ray and by the way if you want your x-ray to stay like this, do not watch the next tutorial, because it's going to basically go on top of all this stuff. So, extends module. Just like always, standard procedures. I'm not really going to explain any of this anymore, because I'm assuming you guys know it all by now. I've gotten a lot of I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about these tutorials, so I'm really happy about that. And I am glad to help you guys. So, if you need any help, don't feel embarrassed to ask in the comments below. I love to help you guys. So if you have any questions, you can add, you can leave a comment. I'll give you my Skype and I can help you out. Um, obviously, X-ray, the popular X <laughs> key category. Hey, we'll render first render mod. Whoop whoop. You all have to do. You all have to twerk right now in front of me. Twerk. If you're not twerking right now, I'm very disappointed. Okay, so. Um, just do this. Um, so on the enable of the mod, we are going to reload the renderers. So minecraft .get minecraft .render global load renderers. So we're going to do the same on the disable. This basically refreshes the world and shows all the x-ray awesomeness that we had just updated. And if you don't do this, then the entire thing does not work. So, this is probably the most important step of the entire tutorial, I guess, in some ways. So, now we're going to handle this mod slightly different. We're, rather than, um, immediately start coding, we, rather than add this to the module manager last, we're going to do that right now. So, go into your module manager, and we're actually going to make a, like, a static instance of this. We don't have to make it actually static, since we have an instance of our module manager. So, um, we're going to do public x-ray, x-ray module, and now you're probably wondering, well, if this is our instance of the x-ray, how are we going to add that to our list without making another instance? Well, all we have to do is do this.activemodules.add new, or actually we're going to do this.x, or x-ray mod, this.x-ray module equals new x-ray so we're just initializing that instance we have up here and this instance is going to be accessed in the external classes of, in the external classes to make this x-ray mod work so there's actually only going to be two things that we're going to be editing in here editing in here so I want you guys to find should render or should side be rendered and um First off, we're going to do, now, there's a few ways we can do this, but the way that I'm going to show you, since this is probably the most well-known way, is like this. If this equals equals this dot, or not the, do, if this equals equals block dot, get block by ID, and then basically how this works is you can repeat this as many times as, uh, as, many times as you want. And you just type out this statement, and for the parameter, it's just the block ID, and it gets the instance of whatever block has that ID. So I'm going to do 16 for coal. And if that is the case right here, if this equals block dot, um, get block by ID 16, then we're going to return true, meaning it will be rendered. And you might be wondering, well, isn't it already going to be rendered? So how do we make it not render the other blocks? Well, all we have to do is if client dot the client dot module manager dot x-ray mod. That's why we did that because we if we did straight off x-ray mod, it's not the actual instance that our client is going to be using. 
And actually, I might need me to. Oh, <laughs> duh. Dot get toggled. So if our x ray mod is enabled, then return false. So basically, what this is doing is first off, it's going to make sure the blocks isn't the block that is being checked if the side should be rendered. It's making sure it isn't coal. And if it is coal, then it's going to return true and say yes, render it. So that doesn't affect it. We don't need to put any checks to make sure the mod is enabled because it'll be rendered anyway even if the mod is disabled. Now the trick here is if the mod is toggled, then it'll return false. So basically if the block isn't cold, then it'll make it past here. And then it'll check to see if the mod is enabled. And if it is enabled, then it'll just return false and not render it. So with that, that's really all we need except one more thing. So we're going to add a to-do here. Um... If you, I hope that made sense to you guys. Um, one more thing, we're gonna look for get block brightness, and all we have to do here is if client dot the client dot module manager dot x-ray module dot get toggled. If it is toggled, then it's just going to return. Or, or yeah, it's going to return. One as much as it'll give me. So might have to take a few zeros off of that. Okay, so that's how many I can do. Basically we want the block to be as red as it can, because otherwise it'll be black. So let's start up. We didn't need to add anything because we already did add it. So this should work. Um that that's the simplicity of the regular x-ray. Now, the opacity x-ray involves going a little bit deeper into some things, so toggle the x-ray. As you can see, coal is there, but it is black. But if we turn on full bright, then it gets a little bit brighter. So that means that there's a small issue here, in the sense that the block isn't, or it's kind of dark. Now, I have never ever figured this out, but for whatever reason, um when you're actually coding the mod in MCP like I am, the it's somewhat, or it's not somewhat, it's very much darker than it is after you export it. Like, this will be completely bright when you export it. So it's really weird, I've never figured it out, but even though it looks black right now, um, like, really black right now, um, don't worry about it, 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 it gets fixed. Don't worry about it. Once you ask, once you like, once we're all done, it'll look better. Trust me. So that concludes this tutorial. Um, at 200 views, I will post an opacity X-ray. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this tutorial was of some use to you guys. And yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.